slip out the back chat, make a new plan Hi everybody, hi Noga, hi, welcome to another season A prediction video, final predictions for Jamie Lannister, we did Cersei the last time, now we're going to do the other half, Jamie, I have, I think, a cool prediction for Jamie, I hope it comes true, so I think he will kill Cersei, yeah. okay, a lot of people think that, but I think he will also be the hand of the queen, it will be Sansa's hand, I think, and I think that his whole, whole reputation will change drastically from uh, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, man without honor. To, okay, a queen slayer, key, also king slayer, but an oath keeper. And I think he will be remembered in the annals of Westeros as maybe the handless hand, mm. something of the sort. Mm -hmm. And I think that fits his, uh, his arc, that he's getting more and more diplomatic and he's learning how not to be so rash. He was very sword happy um, until he couldn't use a sword anymore. You just wanted to hunt and ride and fight. Tywin famously said that some wars are won by the pen mm -hmm. and not by the sword. He cannot, use, uh, he, okay, he cannot use his sword hand, so with his left hand he's very bad at uh, fighting. Mm -hmm. But he can still sign decrees. Do you remember in the first season when he made fun of Ned for being the hand? What's the line? The king shits and the hand wipes. I think he's going to, to be the wiper. Mm -hmm. And I think he's going to be proud of it. He, he can't be a part of the king's guard anymore after killing two monarchs that yes, he was sworn like to it. protect. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> who will want him in that position? Right, yes. right. okay. But he can be a hand. So mm -hmm. maybe tell us, uh, enlighten us about this uh, psychoanalytical uh, whatever development that he went through. If it's uh, from being uh, uh, one with Cersei to and, and a king slayer, dishonored, whatever, hated, mm -hmm. to becoming an honorable person, killing Cersei, and being his own man with his own history now and doing something else that he's. That is totally unrelated to anything that he did before. So Jamie Lannister. Hmm? <laughs> Someone forgot to write down all your great deeds. There's still time. I mean, it's interesting because uh, initially uh, there was this thought that a person has to go through a process of separation, individuation, mm. in order to become fully on right. his own, like right. to be an independent right. person. This is the healthy process. It used to be considered as, as the healthy process. I mean, today we don't see it as, I mean, the healthy thing is also to be still connected to others and to still... To have know, sex with your twin sister. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, I mean, and no, that's not the... No, <laughs> no that's not the... But, uh, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> but, <laughs> Just say no. But it's really like the symbiosis part. I mean, uh, uh, that usually a mother and child have, and then the child has to go through the, the process of separation individuation in order right. to become... But twins also have that. Yeah, yeah. Twins also have that. I mean, we also have that, you know, in different stages in life, like in romantic relationships, we start by being symbiotic, and then we separate, uh, like, well, not necessarily physically, se well, yeah, physically we're always separated, but like... You know, we don't have to, oh, well, yeah, everything is triggering, isn't let's, it? Uh, let's talk about something else, yeah. please. I mean, you could say by your own narrative that he went through this kind of cutting the cord process yeah. of like cutting the cord from the family and then becoming his own person. Maybe yeah. he would cut the cord physically, mm -hmm. right, with the baby, okay? Yeah. When he kills her. Okay. Right. Of course, in healthy development, it doesn't happen that way. I mean, you don't have to distance yourself from the person in order to become your full person. Right. I mean, you kind of need the other person also to be around. I mean, the child right. needs his mother to be there, again, as a secure base. Right. He's separated, he ind individuates himself, but he can always go back to his mother's comfort zone, you know, like yeah. the, the, the place where he feels... Right. So the healthy thing would be that you, you can have this symbiosis if you want to, but... It's not all the time you can come and go, come mm -hmm. and go. But sometimes uh, in unhealthy relationships, I mean, you have to distance yourself from the person in order to become your own person. 
And this is what he's doing now. Yeah. He's going to be whatever, some, doing something heroic in the great epic battle of their time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's also another thing that is going to be remembered uh, for. And so, so 15 years ago, you killed the Mad King. Who the fuck cares? Ah, he's going to meet the daughter of the Mad King. That's going to be awkward. Yeah, Ooh. that's going to be. Yeah, wow. Yeah. I killed your dad. Yeah. Ooh, I want to see. Uh, I hope that scene doesn't suck. Yeah, how are they so going Brienne to? So Brienne is going to be there, and Bran, and Arya, and mm -hmm. Sansa, yeah. and Daenerys. Yeah. Awkward. <laughs> and I think his last shot, boom, boom, I'm going to say in a moment how I think we'll get there, but I think in the last shot, we'll see Sansa being uh, queenly and whatever, accepting uh, the complaint, listening to complaints of uh, her subjects, mm -hmm. and then she will have to go somewhere, and the, the hand... He sits on the throne and he is speaking for the king. So then he will sit on the throne. Remember when all his troubles uh, started with, uh, with Ned? Right. When he was sitting on the throne as Ned was, uh, was coming in. Right. So he will sit on the throne, but this time in a legitimate way. Mm -hmm. So here is how it's going to go down. So he will be with Sansa, right? He's going now all the way north. He's going to keep his oath protect Sansa and Arya, the oath he gave to uh, Caitlyn. He also says in the trailer he is given a promise to protect uh, the living. It's very noble of him. Mm -hmm. I also, I, I'm, I'm also for uh, protecting the living. Yeah. I don't know if uh, there's anybody here <laughs> that, that is, is opposed, to, opposed that. to protecting the living. Yeah. So, so I think Sansa will send Jaime to negotiate with Cersei to try to defuse the situation, right? They're going to go to King's Landing after the war is done. And I think what will happen is kind of a carbon copy of what happened the last time with the Mad King, right? So she will try to burn everything. Uh, I think in this situation he will kill himself. After killing his, after, Cersei. After killing Cersei, because uh, I don't think that Jaime himself thinks that he has existence right. apart from Cersei. It's as if he would lose his right hand. How could he go <laughs> on? Right. I mean, it's even worse because it's, uh, I mean, it's his whole being. Like, she's... Uh... Okay, so here we disagree. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe now... By doing the same thing that he did the last time, even though he was on being honorable back then, now it will pay off. Now it will make him honorable. After he was derided as this dishonorable person, now he will be the hand of the queen. That's the number two position in the realm. Killing Cersei would be paying the only price for an act that he did not uh, suffer the consequences for yet, and that's pushing Bran out the window, the things they do for love. So now maybe you'll have to, instead of pushing him, pushing her under the figurative window. When, you're say, when you say that, I'm thinking about Tom and suicide, and he, were, he jumped out of the window. Right. So in a way, mm. they already paid for that. Right. Okay. But, uh, okay. but uh, yeah, I mean, symbolically... Symbolically. No, it's a good, it's a, it's a good point. So, speaking of pushing Bran out the window, so he's going to Winterfell, Bran is in Winterfell, mm -hmm. he pushed Bran out the window, Bran didn't remember that, now, as he likes to say Bran, he remembers everything. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling that he will not say anything about what Jamie did to him, to anybody. Yeah. I think Jamie will confess, of his own accord, just to show that he's now a changed man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think that Bran is in that position anymore. I mean, I think that he sees everything as something that was meant to be. And so... Right. Uh, that was a good thing that happened to him. Yeah, that was a good thing. That was part of the thing that uh, promoted him in a way to be the <laughs> Three-Eyed Raven. I mean, it's something that he it had to do. was a Two-Eyed Raven before he got promoted to the exactly, Three-Eyed Raven. Exactly, yeah. Yes, get the third eye. Yeah, okay. So, um, <laughs> this is... I mean, I always feel awkward talking about these things. I mean, it will be easier if Gil wasn't here and I could just, you know, have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with him. <laughs> Go ahead. No, but, uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so anyway, now that Gil's not here, we can have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and it's about being a patron. And basically, being a patron means that instead of buying one more cup of coffee a month, uh, you contribute to something that you appreciate and that you think is meaningful 
for entertainment reasons or for gaining more insight or just discussing your favorite topics and also learn about psychology, philosophy, science, uh, even comedy uh, regarding all kinds of cultural phenomena, not only Game of Thrones. You know, what's one less cup of coffee a month? For uh, keep on, for keeping on. Uh, <laughs> I like coffee. Yeah, I like coffee as well, but you know. I mean, you yeah. Can... yeah, one cup of coffee, come on, yeah, one come cup on. of coffee, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so check out patreon.com slash God Academy. Thanks. Okay, so let's wrap it up. Okay, is that it? Is that... Uh, Jamie? I think that uh, in a way, I mean, you could also look at the family as a toxic environment and, uh, and the Lannisters were a toxic environment, I mean, for everyone Definitely. involved. Yeah. And Jamie, in a way, is he a toxic person? Not really. Not really. Just separating himself from that could mean, you know, yeah. uh, some kind of like a detoxification process for, well. Yeah. Some people think he will end up with Brienne. What do you think about it? No, I think Tormund and Brienne will uh, end up together. Yeah. yeah, I don't think he will end up with Brienne. Yeah. I, I mean, I personally don't think that. Maybe. Yeah, I think he will be single. He will stay single. He will, will stay single. Will not sleep with, with any other woman. Yeah. Yeah. But they will work ro- closely, right? Because Brienne will be Sansa's uh, Queen's Guard, Knight, mm-hmm. whatever, and he will be Sansa's uh, Hand of the Queen. Mm-hmm. And the tension will be there for the rest of their lives. <laughs> so she will die a virgin and he will have only one person that he ever slept with his sister, twin sister. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, they have a very special relationship. I mean, it's very interesting to look at. Maybe when we do the, when we shoot the Jamie video at the end of the season, then we'll uh, mm. analyze uh, his relationship with Brienne. Right, I was going to tell you, this is the Jamie video. <laughs> In case you didn't know. The, no, this is not the Jamie video. This is a Jamie video, oh, but... but it's, a, it's only the prediction. Only the prediction. Right, right, it's not the... Right, right. Like the, the full analysis of yeah, Jamie yeah, Lannister. Yeah. We wanted to wait until the end of the show right. in, in order put, to... Put Jamie on the couch. Exactly, to put Jamie on the couch. Right. This is just like, a, you know... Yeah, just a taste. Just a taste just of a taste his of very complicated love. psychological structure. Mm. Even uh, pretty boys have complicated uh, psychological structures. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah, it's... Uh, Oof, it's not, not easy. Not, not easy. easy. Not yeah. easy. <laughs> so thank you everybody for watching subscribe to get all prediction videos and also all of our season videos so during the season with that i'll try to post like six videos per week five or six now i'm thinking seven i'm thinking seven. Oh wow you're going really seven. wow so subscribe yeah. to get all those videos don't episode say, reviews yeah. don't say what don't say it unless you mean it don't. i mean it I okay mean it. okay Episode reviews, episode Q&As, we're going to do together, Mm -hmm. and another uh, extra content about uh, the episode that, uh, whatever, regarding what's uh, what's there, we're going to do a video about it. And also more videos about Game of Thrones and about other movies and other shows with more contributors. Uh, so subscribe to get all those and be sure to hit the bell so you get a notification whenever a new video comes up and you don't miss any video. Uh, anything else? That's it? That's it. Okay, so thank you patrons for supporting the channel. We'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Just for me.